Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild on the early access build of Te Awaroa National Park. And today I'm going to bring you guys a bit of a guide for the Sika Deer. Now, before we actually get into this guide, I real quickly just want to say that a uh, huge disclaimer right here. There is a chance that by the time this patch actually releases onto the live servers, there could have been some things changed with the zones for them. But as of now, these are the zones that I've found while having access to the early build. And I gotta say, there's a huge amount of them, so I really hope nothing changes, and most likely it won't change, but I figured I'd at least put that in there, just in case for some reason a few zones do end up changing around. Another thing I'd like to mention is not everybody's map is the same, so when you guys finally do get access to the map, it doesn't necessarily mean that your guys' is what map will be the same as mine. The way that Call of the Wild's need zones work is there's a certain amount of need zones for each species, and it randomly generates a certain amount of those need zones onto your map, and it's completely random which ones you actually get, so there's a high chance that you might only have half of these zones, maybe only a third of them, uh, somebody might even have all of the zones that I've found. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that not everybody will have every zone, and that goes for every species in the game. Everybody's map is a little bit different with them. But with that being said, let's go ahead and smoke this little Sika Deer. We're currently at the first location that I wanted to go over. I added zero for 300, so uh, glad it didn't run, but uh, as I was going to say, I'm not going to be showcasing every single zone in this video because it would just take way too long to go over it so while we're running over here we'll actually go over the map so we'll toss that up right now and as you guys can see there is i believe 37 zones for Sika deer which is an absolute ton there is so many spots that you guys can hunt them and it's in a relatively small area so you can honestly hunt a lot of those zones within a short amount of time which makes it a very grindable species it shouldn't be too difficult to hit a ton of those zones within their drink time which brings us to the next little thing which is the drink time for Sika deer they do drink as far as I can tell from 830 clear to as late as 1230 obviously every zone's got slightly varying time so you might have some that are 9 to 12 8 30 to 12 8 30 to 12 30 9 to 12 30 but that's the general range is 8 30 to 12 30. so now that we've kind of gone over the map a little bit and talked about their drink time let's go ahead and pick this little sika deer up this is a really nice looking sika probably one of the better looking level four racks i gotta say it's one of my favorites so let's go ahead and pick this up and it is a 166 gold, a very beautiful looking Sika Deer. This is why it's one of my favorites. It's got a decent amount of mass to it, decent amount of points, but not a crazy amount of them. I just overall think this is a really good Sika Rack right here, a good representation of what a big Sika Deer would look like. But because this is a guide video, we are going to kind of go over my favorite routes for hunting the Sika Deer. And right here, we actually have a lodge at this little... Uh, tip of this marshland right here that you guys can actually use to start your run I have a tent here just to make it a little bit faster to get to the zones But as you can see a lot of the Sika deer drink along this river So what I've been doing is I'll spawn at this tent I'll check over on this bank check this bank over here Then kind of just run up this bank and hunt the Sika deer as we go along And I've got another tent over here that way if we want to start there we can But you can also get the Sika deer along here as you guys can see on the map and right now we are at the beginning of that run, we just took out that Sika Deer, and usually after you take out the first ones, you can see some of them from right here. We recently reset the time, so we're not going to be seeing much around right here. That level 4 that we took out had just came into his zone, so we actually got pretty lucky that there was a decent one here early on. And now for the second little location, as you can see, it is at the Bay of Rest. Uh, as you can see on the map, this one also has quite a decent amount of zones. I will real quickly show that on my little Sika Deer map, just to give you guys an idea of where it is. But this location right here has a pretty good amount of Sika zones. One thing that I have noticed though is I find a lot of females here and very few males, so that does become an issue. Like as you guys can see right here, there's just females everywhere, and it's like that up the entire lake, so or inlet or bay or whatever this is but I I don't know if there's gonna be a ton of males here I've pretty much just seen females so this isn't necessarily a place to hit up all the time but it's definitely worth checking on your map once the map comes out 
because I'd say there's definitely a chance that it could have males at some point. I just don't have any on my map personally, but there sure is a lot of females. Next, we will kind of talk about these three lakes down below the river. This was actually kind of the first area that I found Sika Deer, and it is a pretty decent area. It's not nearly as good as the river or the locations that we are going to go towards the end, but there's definitely a decent amount of Sika zones. Uh, I accidentally nuked the one that was right here during one of my uh, recording sessions, but yeah. As you guys can see on the little Sika Deer map, there's quite a few zones around these lakes too. Uh, not as much as the river, or like I was saying, the next place we're going to go, but still a decent amount. And we actually had these Sika Deer run up on us, so... Just take that out real quickly, I guess. A little bit of a bonus kill for some cash, since we are on the early access build, and I'm a little bit low on money. So, figure we'll just take that out as it's walking by. But we are now here at my favorite of those three lakes. This is the one towards the left side. I think this is easily the best of the three. It's got the best views of where the Sika Deer are. As you can see, we've got a level three right there. And a lot of times you'll get them over in the trees over here too. And in fact, I think I just got the spotting. Yeah, there's definitely one in there. I can't get it to spot it though, but there's one somewhere in there. And usually there's one kind of right where our tent is. Unfortunately, that one, since I have the tent here, doesn't show up until I run away from the area, but normally there is a zone right there too. There it is, finally got a spot on that Sika Deer that's in the trees. So yeah, there's a couple Sika Deer here, and I pretty much always have uh, males here, which is really nice. Now, I'm not going to go over the coastline because the coastline is pretty easy to figure out. You just run along it and there's usually Sika Deer in the various spots that I marked on the map, which we'll actually throw that up again right now so you guys can look at what locations along the coast I actually did find them since we're not going to be looking at them in game. We'll also show the upper portion of the coast uh, right now on the map for you guys to get an idea of where to look there. That upper portion definitely has a little bit more zones than the lower portion does, so if I were to prioritize one or the other when it comes to uh, trying to get as many zones in before the end of drink time, I would definitely say go towards the ones that are uh, more north of the river because I feel like that shoreline has a bit more zones and I've seen more bucks along there too. Alright, so now that we've shown pretty much all the locations, we're going to head to this last one right here and we'll go ahead and throw that up on the map right now so you guys can get an idea of where it is and what zones are there. We are now at the very last location that I wanted to show off in this video. And there's a reason that we saved this one for last. Not only is it one of the best locations on the entire map, as you guys can probably tell by the little zone map that I had at the beginning of this video, but there's also a level 5 here. If we can go ahead and find it again, right there. I have been hunting these guys ever since the early access build released to us creators and I have finally found one. I honestly could not be happier. I have tried so hard to get one of these the past few days and we're finally able to get one in our sights. Now we just gotta make sure that we don't screw up this shot and we get a good clean kill on it cause that is a monster Sika Deer. Now what I really want to do is get this guy down with the bow. As you guys know, I have been a huge fan of the bow hunting ever since this build released for the creator beta and I gotta say, I think that a lot of you guys will enjoy the bow hunting once this patch releases onto the live servers because it has really made bow hunting a lot of fun and this reserve is tailored towards bow hunting quite a bit. So we are going to try and take this guy out with a bow and see if we can make a good shot on it. Unfortunately, it is raining, so that is uh, a little bit rough when it comes to visibility, and it is a little bit loud, but hopefully we can get this guy to come out of these trees. You know, actually, now that I think of it, we might want to crawl up to the edge of these trees right here and then get into cover because then we will be able to get this guy a lot closer whenever we do start calling. So I think that's what we're going to try and do. We will try to get as close as we can in this tree line and then take him out. 
So this guy is now 56 meters away. We're definitely starting to get into bow range and I probably could take the shot now. But I do want to be relatively close when we're trying to get this guy, considering he is such a monster Seekadir, and I've been trying to get one for so long. I want to make sure we get a perfect shot and have no chance of messing him up. Because that is the last thing that I would want to have happen right now. Thankfully, with these trees being as thick as they are, it really makes it so you're constantly hidden when going through these forests, which is a huge help when you're bow hunting. And that's another reason why I think bow hunting is going to be pretty prevalent on this map, and it'll actually be a really awesome thing to do. We're real quickly just going to get zeroed for the correct distance, which I believe was... Let's actually double check. I want to make sure we're not going to screw this up at all. So it is 34. Good to know. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't going through him because I know that is an issue sometimes. There we go. We got him down. What a monster Seekadir. I am super excited to see what this guy scores. I just really hope it's not a troll. After all the time that I've spent grinding for one of these, for it to be a troll would be extremely sad. Now this is the brown fur variation if I am not mistaken. It's not the one I was hoping to get, but it's definitely not my least favorite either, so I'm okay with this one. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a few screenshots because this is a beautiful trophy. What a monster Seekadir. Alright, let's go ahead and claim this guy and see if he is a diamond indeed. No, it's a troll! <laughs> it's just barely short of diamond. Wow, 1.6 below diamond. We will still tax this guy and check him out in the lodge, but that's really sad. That's very unfortunate. Well, I mean... Maybe it's a good thing that we didn't get a diamond here on the pre-release build. We can now save it for when the game actually goes live. And honestly, I, we still got to see the big rack for the Sika Deer. This is uh, the small diamond rack. I actually don't know if there's a second rack for diamonds, but I know for a fact this is one that can make diamond. I'm guessing there is maybe... Maybe the inner spread was a little bit too small I'm honestly not really sure we'll have to kind of figure out what the differences are between the small and big racks once the game fully really or uh, once the map fully releases but yeah it's still pretty cool even though it ended up being a troll I'm just happy we finally managed to get one of these guys down all right everybody so now that we have gone through that entire guide and taken down that level 5 Seekadir we will now check him out in the trophy lodge and man, he looks absolutely amazing. I still think the body size for these guys might be a little bit smaller than it's supposed to be, or a little bit smaller than it would be in real life, but they still look really, really good. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the racks on them. I think they did a pretty decent job. And I know there's quite a few of you who have said that this is a little bit too big and unrealistic for a Sika Deer, and there actually are quite a few Sika Deer that look like this, but they are what you would consider to be the true monsters, the true trophy Sika Deer, but they do exist. They do exist and they are absolutely amazing looking. If you look up New Zealand Sika Deer on Google, you will see quite a few large Sika Deer that look like this and even bigger on some of them, so they are a thing. They're just extremely rare and it seems like New Zealand is the main place that they're found. We will also kind of look at a few of these other Sika Deer that I've killed while I've been on the early access build here on Te Awaroa National Park and we've got quite a few awesome looking Sika Deer as you can see. A lot of these racks are very similar but they look amazing nonetheless and I gotta say, favorite species off of the new map by far. And here is a few of the smaller racks I do believe, yeah, that guy right there was a level 1. And then we have varying ones from level 2 all the way up to level 4, as you can see right here. And yeah, they just overall look absolutely amazing and I couldn't be happier with them. But I think that is going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I post daily videos along with 5 live streams a week and there's going to continue to be a ton of content from the new map in the coming days. And I honestly can't wait to show off some of the stuff to you guys. 
Also consider liking if you have not already, it's a huge help in getting my video out into YouTube's recommended feed, which is also a massive help in growing the channel. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!